why would the, gov the deputy governor seek to have another candidate, another speakership candidate, outside of what the governor wants? What struck me, and I've never said this to anybody, is that after I proclaimed the House of Assembly, we're now going to elect officers to the House of Assembly. He was in Abuja, he came back that day. My deputy called a leader, a leader in APC, telling that leader that during the elections the next day of the leadership, speaker, particular speaker of the House of Assembly, that he has five members who are loyal to him and that he would like the several members of APC to work with the five members of PDP to produce a speaker. At that point, I called the PDP members to my house just to familiarize with them. And as usual, he tried to barge in. I said, well, you cannot just come to my house. It's my private house, it's not even government house. You have to have the courtesy. But now it is my prerogative whether I want you to come in or not. After I heard what he had done, I said, you can't come into our meeting. We met, agreed. The next day, we went to the House of Assembly. He went there, and we did what we did. As far as I'm concerned, that was not working in our common interest. Why would the, gov the deputy governor seek to have another candidate, another speakership candidate, outside of what the governor wants? Are we working together? That is where I now knew that we had a problem.